Good morning, everybody. As you can see, Taylor's not here. I'm actually walking over to uh, Tropicana because I'm going to go get a car from Enterprise. Today is probably by far like the one day that I've been looking forward to the most. Um, coming out here, I've been excited to like be in Vegas and like see a lot of the sights, but for me, I'm still like more of like a naturish person. So when I had the opportunity to try and go out and see part of the Grand Canyon, we're not going to Grand Canyon Park today, um, but we are going to go see part of it. We're going to go see the West Rim, and this is what I'm really excited for. And Taylor is probably, for lack of better terms, may soil herself today because we're going to be zip lining three different zip lines. I think it maxes out about 3,500 feet is the longest one, and. It is, uh, man, I'm super excited. I'm so pumped. It's gonna be great. So, let's go. We made it to the first stop. We made it to Seven Magic Mountains. This is pretty cool. I think what is still shocking to me is just the landscape out here. It's just, is so, so different than anything um, that I've ever seen before, which is crazy. Seven Magic Mountains, Art Production Fund at Nevada Museum of Art presents the Seven Magic Mountains, a large scale site specific public artwork by artist Hugo Rondinon. Opened in May 2016, so it's yep. been around for a while. No commercial photography. Does that mean I can fly my drone still? The eighth wonder of the world, the Seven Magic Mountains. These are actually really cool. And uh, if you're wondering, this is about 30 minutes south of Vegas. So oh, we're staying. Now. We're staying at the Luxor, and which is at the most like almost like the most southern point of the Vegas Strip. And from right there. It was about 30 minutes. So we jumped on the 15 south and then got off and like took some back roads that paralleled the 15 and uh, took us here. So it's really not that far of a drive. I don't know if I would lift out here because Ooh, how are you gonna get back? Expensive. And it'd be really tough yeah. to get somebody to take you back. So yeah. I don't think I would do that. But. Yeah, we have a rental car today, so yeah. much let's, easier. Let's take us. some photos. One final look at our quick stop at the Seven Magic Mountains. I'm glad we got to come here. This, it's like, so we do like theme park stuff and people see it on Instagram and then they come there and it's like, oh cool, we're here. But like, I feel <laughs> the same way. Like I feel like a tourist, I guess, seeing this on Instagram and then being here in real life. And it's like, wow, this is like really cool because it's like a real thing. I don't know, it's crazy, but I liked coming here. <laughs> All right, so we now have a uh, rather long drive. We have about two and a half hours, actually, of a drive to our next spot. And uh, once we get there, we're not really gonna have a bunch of time to do a lot of other things, but hopefully um, along the way, we'll actually be able to maybe stop if we uh, see something we wanna stop and get out and take a quick picture, maybe get some video. I really would love to fly the drone around here, but I just literally, we literally don't have time, so. It was awesome. It was so cool. I think we got some good pictures, so. All right, so we uh, were driving out and we came up to this like rest area that says it's a scenic overlook. Yeah, so I think we're gonna be overlooking kind of Lake Mead and a little bit of Hoover Dam. I don't know, we've never, this is amazing. Like, I think Hoover Dam's a little further from here. Is, is it? it? I, I mean, I guess we're just overlooking at least Lake Mead. Wow, look That's at that. Really cool. That's crazy. Um, 
We're doing something very different than we've ever done before. We're first time here. I was actually in the bathroom a couple minutes ago thinking that, I don't think Josh has realized this, but I have always wanted to come to the Grand Canyon. And I thought it was actually something that I would never get to do. So I'm like really excited that he planned this day. Well, I'm glad. I mean, we're not, so for anybody out there who's gonna send us technical comments here on this, we're not technically at the official Grand Canyon Park. We're at Grand, Grand Canyon, Canyon West. West, but we're still gonna get to see basically the Grand Canyon, it's the exact same thing. Regardless of where it's at, I think it's still pretty awesome. We're just a little further down, closer to the Hoover Dam. So yeah. um, it's super cool. Unfortunately, as um, many people were really excited to see Taylor probably soil herself. I we, would not have, I watched videos on we, the way here. <laughs> we had to um, we had to skip zip lining today because we just weren't going to, time just wasn't gonna allow it to happen. So unfortunately, we're gonna miss out on that, which really stinks. But we figured the zip line doesn't go over the Grand Canyon, and so... We'd rather actually see the Grand Canyon and yeah. go out on the skywalk and everything else. So that's what we're going to do. So there's a skywalk. We can't take anything out there, but there are people out there who will take photos for us. So um, we'll probably purchase those photos. I mean, once in a lifetime, you might as well, right? So we're going to do that, and then... Um, it's going to drop us off at a few other places, I think, where yeah, we can take some photos. Yeah, you kind of a little bit, yeah. And then there's a restaurant up there so that we can get some food. I'm actually starving too, so I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, so it should be fun. I mean, again, at this point we can't do zip lining, but, you know, it's what it is. I think we should still check in just to see if maybe they would take us late, but... Well, we can try. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, so... Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to take a bus from here all the way out to where we're going. Yeah. So another thing that I want to mention real quick, you might notice that this it's very close to my face. Um, I think we just lost a lens today on our way out here. We were stopping to try and get some photos and our 16 to 35 G Master 2.8, I think has gone the way, like we have to get rid of it because uh, it just wasn't working. So we're using the uh, 35 and so it's nice and close to my face. So you get a nice, nice view, but uh, it should produce very good video quality. So uh, that's why you know, or so you know why it's so close and not a little wider. It does, it literally doesn't even look real. Like, it doesn't even look real. It is so crazy. It's awesome. I love it. Should we go eat first? Yeah, let's go eat. So we are now having lunch at Skyview Restaurant and we waited a few extra minutes for a table next to the window so that we can have views that are freaking amazing. Um, but you get like a meal ticket basically is what Josh paid for. We're going to do like this little skywalk thing where we walk out over like this glass walkway basically. Um, but we got a meal ticket like included. So there's a few little options on here. Um, it's kind of like a quick service type of meal. Um, but I am totally okay with that because I am ready to get out there and like just look at everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are now going to go do the skywalk, which we just showed you guys out there, except this is the line for the skywalk, which is not moving very much. And it still goes back inside of the building and it weaves back around and inside. So um, <clears throat> we're guessing it's probably going to be like a 60 minute wait. So I would say if you do come out here, make sure that you go here like first thing in the morning to um, avoid the extremely long lines of uh, people. All right, so we have made it to the end of the outside queue. We still have to go all the way up into there to the inside queue, and who knows how much further we have to go from there. But it's only been, my watch isn't working. 18 minutes. 18 minutes, roughly. That's not bad. So 20 minutes outside, <laughs> hopefully maybe only another 20 minutes inside. It's moving a lot faster yeah. than what we thought we were. We thought it was going to be at least an hour outside because it didn't look like it was moving at all. Close-up shot of Taylor's face. All right, so what Taylor hasn't told you yet is that you can actually get really close to the edge of it. I already told Josh he's not allowed to do that. 
This is incredible. Like the edge is literally right here. And then it's just all the way down. So Taylor's uh Goodbye. Taylor's over there supposed to be taking pictures. There's a cacti right behind her. She literally sat down in it. It hurts. Don't do that. Y'all, this is just... It's just absolutely incredible. No video. No pictures. Nothing can do That's this place justice. any justice. Except for seeing it with your own eyes. I mean, it is just absolutely... Absolutely incredible. It is just, just breathtaking. Absolutely. And I'm making Taylor nervous. And right there's the uh, the river, the Colorado River. We saw a boat go by while we were out there on the skywalk. And look, it says you're 4,000 feet above. Oh my gosh, so crazy. Amazing place. I'm so glad that we were able to come out here on this trip. Oh man. Just absolutely stunning. Colors, everything. You guys. That's not ready. You guys. All right. You guys, my worst cartoon nightmares came to life. I sat on a cactus in my butt hurt it, so we, bad. We know that, you always said that. But it hurts so bad. Holy smokes, check it out. We are at the Hoover Dam. You guys, this was not even on our itinerary, but we actually drove across this bridge earlier today and I was like, Josh, we can't be this close to the Hoover Dam and not come here. So we rearranged and changed our dinner plans for tonight so that we can stop here today. And uh, that bridge is awesome. That dam is huge. <laughs> All right, let's go. We, we ain't got much time coming up. <laughs> Wow, this is incredible. I can't believe this, this is awesome. I know, it's pretty awesome. So we are currently going down the stairs, so we uh, parked in the parking garage. Yeah. All right, so a couple of things about whenever you come here. When you come through and you go through security, they will do like a security check of your vehicle. And they're just gonna ask if you've got like alcohol or firearms and you just, you know, obviously you shouldn't have any of those, so don't bring them. But um, when you come here and you're driving down the road, you've got two options. You can stop and you can park and do like the bridge walkway, which is way, way, way up there. Okay. Or you could come over here and park and actually walk down onto the dam. So that's what we're doing. We're actually going to come down here. We're going to walk out onto the dam and like, you know, I don't know, look down over or something. I don't know. There's like a whole observation area up top. So I'm excited. This is really cool. Holy guacamole, Batman. It goes way down there. I can't even see the bottom. I don't know if you've seen this before, but there have actually been documented videos of goats climbing the side of this. Oh, really? Yes. Gosh, look at this. It's crazy. It's incredible. Man. That is awesome. Oh man. Oh, I wish I had the uh, the 16 to 35 so it was wider. We get some wider shots. I know. I think the really cool thing too is like you can see the the coloration in the landscape out there and all the sediment along the banks of the river. And I think it, it's actually pretty low right now. So, but man, this is incredible. And then you've got these giant towers, which I think are, I don't know, maybe part of like the turbines and how all that stuff works. Man, I wish we could go inside and like do some of the tours and stuff and see stuff, but we, really, we like literally don't have time to do that. But we are gonna swing into the gift shop. <laughs> of course. I need a sticker. Yes, oh yes, you definitely do. This is a good one. Oh shoot, do they close? No, we still got 15 minutes. Found them. Hoover Dam stickers. Mini stickers are two bucks, medium, $3, and larger, four. 
So there's a lot here to pick from. Got some Las Vegas, Hoover Dam, Hoover Dam. That one's like a little much, you know, like the full printed photo. I'm not sure about that. Let's see. I don't know, maybe this one. I'm trying to find one that's not like really over the top, but. That one like shows a picture of it. I don't know if I like that one that shows a picture. Oh, I like this one. What else we have? This one. This one? I like that. Well, I got a, what is it? and a postcard. A sheet of postcards yes. and a sticker. So I'm pleasantly surprised and I, I'm really happy. This was a really great stop. We don't have much time and no, it, it would have been cool to been able to stay and do more stuff. But. It would have, but you know, I said this was just awesome to be able to even see the Grand Canyon and see the Hoover Dam. And like I said, this the Hoover Dam wasn't even on our itinerary. And I was just like, right, yeah. uh, I think we need to make this happen. Now, when you come, um, it is $10 to park. So keep that in mind. If you're parking over here, it's 10 bucks to park. Um, I think I was kind of saying that earlier and I may have gotten distracted. <laughs> when you come down and pass the security, you can either turn right or up one more level. You can go right and park and take the bridge walk, or you can keep going straight all the way down to the parking garage for the actual Hoover Dam, so. Or you can do them both. <sighs> yeah, if you got time, if you got time, you can do both. All right, we gotta go for dinner. All right, so we are just finished eating dinner uh, at Giada, so be on the lookout for that dining review coming out at some point, I'm not sure when. We are back out on the strip. It's nighttime, it's like nine o'clock. And uh, we're gonna walk, I think, over to the Bellagio and see the fountain again. We were already just watching it from inside, but it's pretty cool to see it at night because it's all lit up. And I think Taylor's gonna take some photos. We might, um, we might make our way inside of the actual Bellagio too um, to see some stuff. But we'll see. gonna do it for us here tonight we had an extremely long day we did, did a it was lot so of really much cool fun stuff <laughs> it was right i mean it was good uh yeah so we are totally worn out from driving all the way out to the grand canyon to coming back and going to eat and walking around so stay tuned because the next video that we post we're gonna be walking around all over the strip um because it's our last full day here then we take a red eye back to Florida. So we'll see how that goes. See y'all in the next one.